All right, it's time to go to Costco. Let me see if I can move around a little bit, see the sign. So we're gonna go in, uh, see what we got. Uh, probably not a big haul today, but I love going to Costco. I always find new things, different things. I'll show you what we find. I'll talk to you when we get inside. Busy day at Costco. Uh, um, I'm gonna look at some drinks over here. Uh, show you what they have, if I can get down the aisle. Let's see. Let's see what they got that's any good. I like these Kirkland and Sparkling. Um, zero carbs. Some of the ingredients are not so good in them. Um, but they're pretty good tasting. Same with the ice. These are pretty good. If you're looking for drinks, those are a couple of the ones to look at. All right. We're going into the, uh, into the freezer section. Uh, Show you the entrance right here. They have, uh, they have a couple pretty cool things. Let's see if they have anything new and exciting. These I really like, but I can make these for a third of the price that I can those. Um, I do want to get these. I really like these. I guess that's it. I'm going to go in and uh, get some veggies, show you some of the veggies areas. I'm going to get some black raspberries. I really like black raspberries. About the lowest carb berry that you can get, so I like those. Uh, I'm gonna get a bag of this spinach. Spinach will last me like I don't know how long, but it'll last me a really long time. Oh, you know, maybe I'll I'll never eat this in a in a dog game. So, um, so they got some over here that is much more like what I'll eat. Do that in my salads. Uh, raspberries. I'm looking for some. We're gonna have uh, some salmon for dinner, so I was looking for some for the celery. I mean, not celery, the uh, uh, asparagus. Some grapes. So I'm gonna get my wife some grapes. Uh, and I'm looking for asparagus. I find asparagus. Right by. She's got a big thing for like 
eight bucks. This will, this will feed us for a week. Uh, Alright, I'll show you some other things that uh, we'll see if they have as we go through here. Like I say, I, I love these things. I have some at the house. We got a couple packages last time I haven't eaten them yet, so I'm not going to get some now, but I love those things. Um, get some of these um, these ones here as well they're not the cleanest but they're pretty good and we use them to make uh, tacos and burritos and different ones um, they're still pretty good like I say I think we bought them last time I probably showed it to you last time you know zero carbs you know they have melodextrone in them which is not the best I'm thinking it's probably so mild that you probably would never know it. Um, I'm just looking for some lunch meat. All right, that's kind of, I'm going to look around here and if I find something, I'll show it to you. I'm going to get some cheddar cheese in the next aisle over. Um, and ooh, seafoods. chicken all right Beef, pork get a love cast I'm gonna go get two chickens roaster chickens show you those when after. $70.99. I cut them up and use them for uh, meals, so I'll talk more about it later. Uh, show you, <clears throat> get some cheeses in here. This is, I get cheeses here. They have some pretty good cheeses. Uh, you're looking for snacks and stuff. I generally get these ones and these ones up there for snacks at work. Uh, but a lot of really good cheeses for cooking and stuff, so that's where I get a lot of my cheeses, so. Again, pretty good for a really good price compared to what you get in a regular store. Uh, they also have a... Uh, uh, so this is a new find. Never had their Caesar salad before, so I don't know if it's any good or not. Fine old kitchen. Avocado, 
Yeah, so apple cider vinegar, pretty good ingredients. So that's a good find. All right, everybody, we're back from the, uh, the grocery store, or from Costco's, I should say, not the grocery store. We're back from Costco's. Um, again, uh, this is stuff that we needed. I didn't get everything that, that I would normally get just because we were short a lot of, I shouldn't say, we weren't not short a lot of stuff, and they had a couple things that, um, that I like normally get, like the monk fruit from Montana. They didn't have, um, so I didn't get any. Uh, normally, I would get that. Um, that was one of the things that was missing, but... Uh, I'll go through a real quick like and show you what we got and uh, kind of see what you think. All right, here's what we got. So I got two roaster chickens. I like the roaster chickens, and I know some people will say it's not, it's not the best because of the fact it has stuff injected into it and stuff. But I like the way it tastes. It, they're actually zero carbs. Um, and uh, I can cut them up, and I can make each one of these into four or five, maybe six meals. And then they're great for lunches or dinners if I'm by myself or something like that. Um, and you'll see that these are some cookies, the macadamia, keto macadamia nut cookies that we made <laughs> in the background. And that's uh, some of the pandasal that we made over here, uh, trying out some new recipes. Um, I also got some zinc um, taken. I'm gonna try this one. I'm not so sure how I like it, we'll see. This was a new find, uh, this Primal Kitchen salad dressing. Um, never had Caesar before, so I'll, I'll, I'm gonna try that. Um, it was like eight bucks for the two of them, which was a pretty good deal. Eggs, we go through, of course, a lot of eggs. Um, one of my downfalls is nuts, but uh, I love pecans. They're nice and sweet. We got two bags of them. You'll see we keep a we keep a thing of them on our <clears throat> on our kitchen island here, and I usually grab a handful every once in a while. It's probably one of my downfalls, but um, I love them. So um, we got some new cheese, new cheeses as well. So um, we've been going a lot of cooking with the cheeses and stuff. We're actually gonna make uh, some pizzas. Um, I have a new recipe that we've been kind of playing around with, tweaking and working on. We think we got a good, so we're gonna make the, the pizza. So we needed the mozzarella cheese. We're also gonna use some of the cheddar check cheese on it, um, as well as some other cheeses that we have. Um, I also have uh, some feta cheese that I bought for salads and stuff of that nature. Um, asparagus, this, We'll have tomorrow, we're actually gonna have some salmon tomorrow, so we're gonna have the uh, asparagus with it. Some black raspberries, um, I really like these. I try to eat a quarter of a cup or so, or I should say a third of a cup or so uh, every day, just because trying to get some kind of fruit in me um, so the berries work okay. Um, baby bells are a good snack. Um, avocados, um, you know, one just about one a day, go through um, some almond, flour for uh, for cooking um, the turkey breast we're actually going to make the chicken crust out of this chicken breast so that's what we're going to use it um, some uh, some pepperoni to go on top of the uh, this this we actually bought at Kruger's we didn't buy it at uh, uh, <laughs> we didn't buy that at Costco um, so we stopped at Kruger's because we're going to make that pizza tonight and we want to put pepperoni on it um, again I just showed you those cookies over there hiding over there. Uh, these are the macadamia nuts that we use to uh, make those cookies with. Uh, if you, you check out some of my rest, some of the videos, if you want, I'll put a link down below, but you look at the videos and you'll see these are really, really yummy. I love macadamia nuts and the white chocolate is really, really good. So here's the white salmon. I mean, the uh, wild caught Alaskan sockeye salmon. That's gonna be for dinner tomorrow night. We're gonna have that. Some Kerrygold's butter. I use a lot of this for cooking and stuff of that nature. And a lot of other stuff. I got this uh, this uh, original organic chicken breast for lunch meats and, and stuff for me for when I go to work. Um, zero carb, zero additives, no sugar. So I was pretty pleased to see this. They're using the uh, organic vinegar to uh, to uh, to keep it uh, good. Um, then of course I, I eat these for snacks every once in a while when I get a snack. These things will go forever. I still think I have some from last month, but um, not many. So those, um, the egg wraps I really like. So this is one of the few places. I usually get cheese wraps too, but I actually got two of them. One of them is still frozen. So we have tacos one night. We'll probably eat those. And then I'll put up the other one I have in the freezer. And next time I'll go, I'll get the cheese wraps. But the egg wraps I really like. They make great sandwiches to go with that turkey breast. 
and some cheese. I have some Swiss cheese and some cheddar cheese uh, for, as well. And then this is for my salads, this uh, baby spinach. Um, and and I, I'll have a salad a couple times a week, two or three times a week. Uh, a little bit of this, some feta cheese, um, some uh, the uh, bacon bits, crumbles. Um, some I'll use a half a can of the, the, the chicken breast or a can of tuna or something I like that to put on it. And it works out really well to bring for lunch and again for dinners and stuff. So, so that's kind of the, the haul, just kind of quick and easy. Uh, nothing uh, extraordinary, I don't think. Um, like I said, one of the big finds for me was was this. Uh, I, I saw some other things there. Um, I will tell you that there's a lot of stuff out there that's keto that they sell that I personally would not buy just because they're very, very high in total carbs. So if they're really, really high in total carbs and have a ton of sugar alcohols and fiber in them, I would pass on them. Um, just, that's just me, though. So, you know, you do you and I'll do me and, you know, whatever works for you so that works for me it's helped me especially hopefully for this month while i'm doing that jump off the summer keto cut but that's the that's the grocery haul hey hopefully uh you enjoyed the video um hopefully uh, you enjoy seeing what you have if you have any questions or anything else let me know down below if you like to do this i do this about once a month um give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that little subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss them in the future. All right. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.